What's going on everybody? My name is Gus and welcome back to the VR Vault. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a really, really great first person shooter called uh, Serious Sam. Uh, you may have heard of Serious Sam from the, the past, a game from the past, um, but it's a really great VR experience for a number of reasons and has uh, actually gotten a lot of hype because of uh, all the locomotion options that it has available. And uh, someone who uh, is playing a lot of VR like myself or maybe if you are getting a little tired of the kind of standing and uh, shooting gallery games, uh, this is definitely one you're gonna wanna check out. And as you can see here, there's a plethora of options available to make your VR experience as comfortable as possible. All right, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to the crazy and gory and full locomotion enabled world of serious fucking Sam. And let me tell you, this game is pretty freaking intense, even without the full motion locomotion, but with it, it allows you to feel so much more immersed and holy shit. Honestly, can't lie to you. This is the first serious Sam game that I've played in a very long time and it is freaking intense in VR. Like, holy shit, you got these freaking dinosaur beasts like sprinting at you. You got bomb dudes with no heads. Like, there are a couple of times where you turn around and there's some enemies that spawn behind you and it's actually freaking terrifying. Like, it's, it's pretty intense, but this game feels fan-freaking-tastic. Oh my god, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, this dude's pissed. All right, hold on, let me try to handle this situ- Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked right now. Uh, I took him down, I think. Uh, you're dead, bomb guy. And you're dead. Uh, oh jeez, I thought that was another guy. Holy shit, hard to catch your breath in this game. It's pretty freaking just go, go, go. And I mean, with Serious Sam, uh, in a very Serious Sam fashion, you have a shit ton of different weapons, a shit ton of enemies to shoot with said weapons, uh, including this giant wildebeest looking thing. Jesus, dude, you're scary looking. And uh, yeah, this game is just pure joy. And the amount of, I'll switch it up to, what else do we have? Got a couple of shotguns, I got a chainsaw. I don't really wanna get close to those guys yet. I'll save the chainsaw for later. But yeah, the shooting feels fantastic. And once you get past the a little bit of motion sickness you may feel as the locomotion, uh, as you get used to the locomotion, uh, this is one of the most complete and feature-rich first-person shooters that is available in VR at this moment. Holy shit, that guy's big. Oh my god. And again, in serious Sam fashion, the monsters are huge, the guns are ridiculous. Oh, there you are. What do you want, bitch? Try me, dude. I will take, oh, 14 bullets, that's it? I've been wasting way too much shotgun ammo. All right, gotta be a little more conservative, but it's a real game, it's a full game. And that is a beautiful looking rocket launcher. Let's grab that. No, oh some yeah, serious fire now that is some serious fire, holy shit. Yeah, all right, so it's go time. This guy is not messing around. Holy shit, did I get hit by that? I get hit, oh, jump, move, jump, and yeah, it's freaking serious Sam, and you can move around, and I can't, I can't really even describe to you how much more that adds to the experience. Being able to move around this and having it. This is getting serious. This is getting serious Sam, I agree. It's so much better, and it's so much more immersive, and to be honest, I play a lot of VR, but I was a little motion sick at the beginning, but with the different options it gives you, it allows you to change the amount of, uh, change like where you move, how you move. If you move based on where your hands are pointing, or if you move based on where your head is pointing, there's so much, so many different options that allow for so much, uh, ooh, here we go, what's up, boy? I gotta switch back to my pistol, I don't wanna waste all that ammo. And yeah, those options alone are fantastic, and I really think more developers need to start trusting people who play VR as people who will not be scared away if, in fact, uh, they get a little bit motion. So, oh shit! Oh, 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 jeez! These guys are freaking awful, dude. Sometimes, sometimes these guys just jump up behind you too, and it's it actually makes you jump. Uh, this guy needs to go down. Jeez. These scorpion people, oh shit. See, like, they'll just spawn around corners. I'm gonna grab some of these. Oh, my hands are floating away. Thanks, Oculus. Grab some of these pills, some aspirin. Grab some ammo, or some armor, I mean, rather. And try to take this guy to the cleaners. I think there's another one on the other side, but trying not to die. I'm playing on the middleest difficulty. And yeah, it's, it's a full-fledged game. It's not just a, a shooting gallery. You gotta go around. I think I gotta lower that. So I gotta press these buttons real quick and, uh, and just basically move through this temple. Oh, shit. All right, that guy's done. This guy's done as well. I'm gonna hit this button real quick. Grip to use. Oh, those floating head things are awful too. 
The enemy design in this game is, oh shit, another scorpion. It's pretty go, go, go. It's a very, it's a very old school style shooter and in VR you wouldn't assume it works that well because like I assumed that you'd be moving way too fast to make it, oh Jesus, like that's what I'm talking about, man. Screw that shit. All right, I gotta take care of this guy. This is the worst commentary of all time. I apologize in advance, but this game really is pretty intense. I don't even know where I am in terms of the camera either, but, but yeah, it's a full-fledged game. This is a full first-person shooter. This isn't just wave after wave. You got objectives. I gotta press the, oh, that's the jump button. And I gotta move on to that. There's a ton of levels and there's multiplayer. And multiplayer in this game is an absolute blast. If you got a squad of people who uh, also own VR headsets, I actually think they also just added a controller support. Uh, oh, I think that may be the door. I'm already getting tangled up. Um, they added controller support as well, so if you don't have touch controllers, which it works fantastically with, I might add, um, if you don't have controller support, uh, you can, or if you don't have touch controls, you can, in fact, just use a regular uh, Xbox controller or whatever kind of controller you have lying around that will work. So, a lot of options, a lot of love and care put into this game, and uh, it's just fun. It's just a blast, and I, I highly recommend if you have other people you know with VR headsets, you should definitely encourage them to play with you because the multiplayer works well, and shooting shit in this game uh, with friends makes it less terrifying. Holy shit. Also, if you're not a giant pussy like me, uh, you'll probably do a little bit better than I would. Oh, jeez. Right, let's see if I can start chainsawing some of these guys. They're pissing me off. Bring it on, boys. You want some? Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I freaking thought. You're done, and you're done. Chainsaw is actually a little overpowered. I prefer the shotgun personally, but you know, to each their own. All right, let's wander this way. Um, nothing back there. And there's tons of secrets to find, tons of gameplay. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many levels there are because I haven't quite finished the game yet, but um, it's just, it's great. And there are different scenarios like this one we're getting into right now. I'll chop these boys up. See ya. Oh shit. Oh geez, I don't like those guys. Oh, they'll overwhelm you in a minute. Oh. Seems as though I'm getting somewhat overwhelmed as well. All right, let's move on to this room, see what we can do. But yeah, the levels are like surprisingly long too. Like you're not gonna just jump through these levels and not, not struggle at all. And there are a lot of different difficulty modes as well. Um, so if you think it's too easy, Fuck these things, man. I hate those floating heads, they're so scary. Um, if you think it's too easy, just up the difficulty. Up it to serious mode. And there's somewhat of a time attack, or not a time attack, but a score attack um, component of this game too. So if you want to, uh, you can try to replay each of these levels to get through it faster, or do it more efficiently, or get a higher score. All of these things are possible in this fully fledged I would honestly say that this is a first-person shooter, which is pretty rare in virtual reality to see. A lot of developers don't trust people with their entire locomotion, like to do locomotion in a way that allows you to move around in your VR space because in fairness, you might get motion sick, fuck you. You might get motion sick the first time you try this, but I think this is something that VR needs desperately. Like you can't have games that just keep you boxed into one spot and, and don't expect you to want to move around. Like that's a natural progression of wanting to use VR in an interesting way. And I think the immersion that you get from being able to move around is so much greater than just standing in one spot. And I think in the future, we are going to need these kind of locomotion options. Like you can't have a game that just expects people, oh, one shot, oh jeez, that guy's cool. Done. Oh. And also, just to let you guys know, I am using the uh, three sensor like room scale setup as well, so this is also running on the Steam version. Uh, there is an Oculus Home version as well, but I'm not sure how, I can't speak to how well that works because I do not have a code for that, but uh, I'd assume it works just about the same. That might even work better just with a two sensor setup uh, with you in the front. Um, I'm not sure how to get, oh yeah. We're gonna have a bunch of guys running through there and then they're gonna be running at me through the darkness. Um, yeah, it's a natural progression. You need to be able to move around. And I think as more developers trust their players and trust us as a VR community to not uh, downvote a game into oblivion because it makes you a little bit motion sick, um, it's, just, it's just about choice. And I think this is the gold standard at this point in time for what VR locomotion should be. It should give you the option. Do you want to teleport around? Are you okay with a less immersive experience? Because if you are, that's totally cool. But it should be available for those who want a full locomotion option. And I, I really tip my hat to Crow Team to, uh, for, for taking a chance 
and really implementing this well. Oh shit. Oh, I hate the bomb guys. You hear him yelling, you know it's game time. Oh geez. How much health do I have? 58? And I'll also, uh, I'll, I'll put it at the end of this video, I'm gonna sh go into detail about the, what you want, boy. Go into details about the uh, options so you can see all the different locomotion options to see if they fit your fancy. Ooh, geez. Dunzo. Get some more ammo. But yeah, I'll, I'll go into detail about the different locomotion options so you can see uh, if you would be comfortable using e any one of them. But there, there's something for everybody there. All right, here we go. This is as wave-based shootery as it gets, but this is just because we're trapped. All right, you're done. You're done. And the gun, the gunplay feels great. One thing I will add is that at this point in time, there is no haptic feedback on the Oculus Touch controllers. Um, I'm not sure if that's just an error or if it's not uh, completely included in the game yet, but other than that, the Oculus Touch controllers work uh, just fine. I uh, haven't had a chance to try it out on a Vive either, but I, I'm guessing it works quite well uh, in that uh, scenario as well. Uh, well Seriously, is that, is that the best you can do? do? Uh, no, uh -oh. there's gonna be a lot more coming, Sam, don't worry. Oh, yep, there they are. But yeah, haptic feedback definitely is something I think that they need to uh, implement, but again, they're working on it. I think that's something that will be implemented uh, within the next couple of updates. Holy shit. That was sweet. All right, you're done. You're done. Oh, oh, yep, done. Done. Ugh, jeez. Yeah, these levels aren't messing around. These levels are not short in any sense of the imagination. Uh, you're gonna definitely get your money's worth uh, if you invest in this title. And I mean, Pro Team is updating this all the time too, so I definitely think it's something that you guys should check out. Uh, I'm gonna play a little bit more, see if I can make it outside. I can't remember exactly where the end of this level is, but I'm gonna click that button. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, Jesus, fuck, dude. Hate those things, man. All right, whatever, moving on. But yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, complete this level, and uh, and then uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get on with get on with my shit. All right, press that in. Is that door open now? All right, I'm gonna go swimming. Give me that. Got it. Oh, oh yeah, I think I died there last time. All right, jump out of there. Get out. Come on. Get out. Come on. Jump out of there. There we go. Okay. Nope. All right. And uh, yeah, I think this is one of the major complaints is the uh, the water mechanics are not up to snuff. I think there's still a little bit of ironing out they could do with that, um, but everything else is great. Like, it's it's just nice to have full locomotion. If you haven't already noticed, I'm pretty about that. What's up, machine gun? Here we go. Bring it on, you bastards. What's going on? Oh, we got scream. Oh, shit. Uh, we got... No, oh, I don't even know what these, the frog things are weird. Definitely don't like it. Oh, you're done. You're done. And I will tell you also, I'm not gonna spoil some of the more awesome boss fights, but there are some ridiculous boss fights in this game. Some of the bosses you encounter and some of the weapons that you're able to use are truly delightful and will put a smile on your face because it is so over the top, larger than life, and serious Sam-esque. Really can't get enough, all right. There you go. Whew, this one's a workout too, man. You you are spinning around, and there's, right now I don't, actually, that's not true. There are turn controls, so if you don't wanna actually use your whole 360, um, there are controls that allow you to just turn with the uh, with the control sticks as well, so. Tons of options. Uh, where am I supposed to go now? I can't quite remember. Actually, you know what? I think that's enough Sam for today. Uh, my headset's actually getting a little bit sweaty too, so I'm gonna cut it there, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you wanna check out where uh, to get Serious Sam VR, I will leave links to the Oculus Home and the Steam pages in the description below. And uh, yeah, you guys can go check them out there. Uh, a lot of development logs and stuff like that. And it's a really well supported game by a Crow Team. There's the camera, hello. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend it. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. If you didn't, be sure to leave it a dislike and a comment letting me know why. Uh, if you haven't already, click that button to subscribe or press this thing or that thing to check out some of the other videos. All right, anyways guys, take it easy and I'll see you next time.